there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to be trying something a little bit new for me, something that I haven't tried before and that is I want to create this card using just watercolours so that means I'm going to be stamping using this watercolour paint set as well. So I am starting off, I have a piece of Tim Holtz watercolour paper, that's the only watercolour paper I use, I absolutely love it, I'm using the smooth side and here is my watercolour set, this is the small, compact and <laughs> just perfect for me a uh, Prima confetti set. This has all of these gorgeous colors and this is uh, watercolor is not my thing I definitely don't think I am any sort of watercolor artist um, So this is perfect for me I am choosing an a kind of a yellowy orange and then a little bit of a ready orange And I'm going to put these together to make a new color just up there on that little tin on the other side of the tin And I am going to I have a little glass of water that you can see up in the top right hand side here I was just trying out the colour and then I'm going to kind of spread this around but leaving a little frame around the outside. I do want this to be kind of a um, organic looking kind of piece. Um, I don't want this to go right to the edges. I don't want there to be straight lines because usually if I try and make straight lines and they end up looking not straight. So I'm just going for a really kind of loose watercolour look here. And this uh, this set is very very pigmented. There is a uh, very saturated. So I am I added a whole lot of water to this to water this down to get this color. Now of course you can do this card using anything that you have and this is kind of the point of the card definitely you could use inks they would work perfectly um, you could use water reactive ink dye inks here you could use your distress inks distress oxide inks anything is going to look beautiful but I am just trying this out because I have this watercolor set and um, admittedly I do love it I use it but I want to make sure that I use it as much as I can and Hopefully if you guys have a watercolor set sitting at home and it's something that you would love to give a go Then this will inspire you to kind of pull it out again and see a new way to use it Now I guess when I think of watercolors, I definitely don't think of stamping with them and um, I really really love the way that this card came out. I had a whole lot of fun creating it It was something kind of a little bit out of my control that I didn't know how it was going to go and I enjoyed that so I thought I would share this video with you and hopefully it inspires you to dig out those watercolors and perhaps give it a go. Now here once I've added the first layer I did use my heat gun to dry this and I'm getting out my little anti-static powder bag, popped a little bit of that on, made sure it was really nice and dry and then I have this cling rubber stamp here from Stampendous. This is called background music and I'm going to use some Versamark sticky embossing ink and I am using some clear embossing powder and I'm going to ink up the whole stamp here but the reason I'm not going to put this on acrylic block is when I put this down I just press little pieces of it. I'm holding the rest up off my paper because I just want there to be little spots of these musical notes all around and then I'm going to emboss these in some clear embossing powder. This is just meant to be some background background interest, some background noise, um, just something to kind of add a little bit more to my piece. You could most definitely skip this step if you wanted to. You could use any stamp you wanted to. You could also uh, stamp this in some color if you wanted it to be a little more bold than what I got here. But you can see when I tilt it in the light, you can see those little music notes. If you wanted to bring out the embossing a little bit more then you could go over it with the same color and just add a little bit more of the color on there and see if that would kind of bring it out a bit more. I kind of started to do this but honestly I wanted the background to be really nice and light so I went over it just a tiny tiny bit but pretty much just left it because I wanted the background to stay the background. I don't regret adding the music notes, I still really like them, I didn't see a need to start again, I loved how this card turned out and it gave the card a lot of texture as well. So I'm just going to dry the um, water that I added, the paint that I added and make sure I can move on to my stamping. Now you will know that if you watch my channel this is one of my favorite stamp sets at the moment. This is the Ulta New Leaf Canopy Stamp Set and I have been having so much fun with this. <laughs> it is featuring in so many videos but again any stamps that you have are going to work 
you just need to try them and experiment and see how it goes because that's what I was having fun with today. So I'm choosing this kind of bold uh, one rather than just the outline. You could also add the outline too if you, you felt like that gave you a little more uh, kind of definition and direction with uh, your stamping but I decided to just use the inside piece I am going to pop this in my stamping platform I have a sticky grid mat there which is down on my base that means I don't have to use magnets or anything I have links to the sticky grids that I purchased down in the description box below this video I will link everything that is still available that I use today and I'll link it down there in case you are interested in checking something out now here I am just kind of taking some of the color that I pretty much used on the background and I'm taking a paintbrush and just taking it to the stamp. <laughs> there are lots and lots of ways to do this. I'm sure I could kind of put this down on a non-stick mat and kind of uh, paint the paint down on it first and then take the stamp to it like on an acrylic block and kind of dab it in and out of that but this is just how I decided to do it this time and you can see when I close the stamp down I can kind of squish it around and press it down uh, and then that way it kind of moves the paint around on the stamp and this is the impression that I got so far bear in mind that I did not do the stalk or the stem of the leaves or whatever I just did the leaves and that's why it looks a bit funny at this point now I'm going to take a paintbrush in sort of this greeny browny kind of color and paint on so to speak some of the stem. I wanted to see how it was going to go so I just did a little bit of it first and then I have very little <laughs> uh, skill when it comes to painting or watercoloring or anything like that. It is something I don't particularly enjoy and I am definitely not good at. Um, so this is about the extent of it and I am just kind of putting a little bit of the paint on the stem of the stamp stamping it down and then I get a rush a rough impression sorry of where it needs to go and then I can add in a little bit more if need be then I took uh, some of the same uh, paint that I painted the leaves with and I'm just going around a couple of the leaves to give them a little bit of definition just so that you can kind of make out the shape of them a little bit more. Remember that with watercolours and stamping with watercolours in particular that you're going to get that watercolour look. And also on the right hand side there I'm stamping over top of the embossing and of course the embossing is going to resist any of the ink or the paint and things I'm going to put on top of it. So you're going to get a really watercolour colored look a really organic look that you probably won't be able to repeat and that's what I like about it I had a whole lot of fun and I love how this came out so it was fun but it might not be for everyone but I really enjoyed using the uh, things that I have in my craft stash in a different kind of way than I might otherwise do so now to put this all together I have got my card base here and I'm also going to put a wee paper towel in to uh, mop up anything that spills because I don't want this going onto the inside of the card I'm taking the exact same color but full strength uh, that I stamped in and I'm just going around the outside of my card to create a border. It's actually going to probably look like that's the color of the card base. But just to finish off here, I'm taking, this is the Queen Anne's Lace stamp set from Woodwear and I really just liked the happy birthday in it so any happy birthday is going to work. You could even use die cuts, that is going to work perfectly fine as well. And I'm just going to stamp this down with an acrylic block. I decided to heat emboss this with some white embossing powder. And again, the background here is not um, is quite light. So embossing with white on top of it means that it's not going to be a super um, contrasting, stark kind of sentiment. But I didn't really want it to be that way. The card feels nice and delicate and light and uh, really gorgeous. So I wanted to keep the sentiment kind of feeling that way as well. This is a little happy birthday card, but you could make this any occasion at all. So I am going to heat set that and it turns nice bright white. If you want to make it stand out a little bit more, you can do the same thing as we did earlier on where we added a little bit more of color um, behind the sentiment with some of that, um, the color that we used to create the background. I actually did some splashes earlier on. I think I forgot to say that, but I added a few little splashes here and there, which I really like the look of too. And then once I darken this up just a little bit and add a little bit more paint in some of a couple of places, I'm really happy with how this looks. As I said, you could either add a little um, oval or a little uh, tag or a little um, banner or something down the bottom if you wanted to make the sentiment stand out more, but I was really happy with how this looked. I'm going to trim this panel down because of course this started out as a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel because this is the uh, size of the watercolor panels that I buy. 
So I'm trimming it down so that we can see a little bit of that background that we created on our card base. I'm using my uh, trimmer to just cut a little bit off. I have the double-sided tape and this is the little trick I do with all four pieces and one in the middle. I peel off the middle piece and then I position it around. Once I have it positioned perfectly evenly on all of the sides, I press down on the middle and then pull out each of the tabs and that way it is perfectly centered in the middle. That is my card today where we did some stamping with watercolors. I had a whole lot of fun. I hope that this has inspired you. I will leave links to all the products in the description box below the video. If you were inspired by this and I would love to see your creations and your makes, head on over to our Facebook group where we are able to post photos and things that I can see. Uh, the, there will be a link to that down in the description box below, but it is called Come Crafting with Natasha and I will see you over there. Other than that, thank you so much for joining me today and I really look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks, bye!